Greetings world. Story X again here at American Voice. You know the competition show seeking the greatest broadcast voice in the world. And we lucky today have one the best casting directors in the area in LA. Been working on a lot of films. Just did Whitney Houston, NWA. That's the last time I seen him. Been doing the NWA casting. Had a good time that day. So he came by to see us, talk to us, to say something to the youngsters, let you know something about casting, let you know about his projects and the other projects he's done. And just have a little, you know, good conversation with Carrie. So, ladies and gentlemen, world, Story X and American Voice, in introducing Carrie Lee. What's up, brother? What's up, man? How you doing? No, man, you got it all, man. I heard about your projects. I was in the movie, and I seen the trailer for NWA last time I seen them. You uh -huh. was doing the uh, casting. I was over there. Yep. Had a good time that day. Yeah, yeah. Hot day, though. It was. Burning up, man. Yeah, yeah buddy. Hey, Carrie, like I tell a brother like you, man, Tell the people what, what, what a casting director's job is and what, what you're looking for and how, what it takes to get casted in a film, a movie, a commercial, or a sitcom or something. Well, that's kind of a loaded question there. Well, break but, it down for me, brother. But I'm not, I don't necessarily be looking for anything. You know, every project is different. What I mainly look for is just people that are interested in, in pursuing this as a business. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the main thing. You can be taught how to act. I can teach you how to say the line, may I take your order. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. you got to be serious about it. You're right. So, so that's the key to me is finding and looking for people that are real that really want to do this business. Right, I hear you, man. Right. Hey, uh, say a little something about that NWA thing last time I seen you. I saw the trailer. Yes, that's the movie. That's we done. I, I heard it's done. Uh, no, I, I, to be honest, I don't know. I'm not gonna speak on it in the sense of 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 Ed being educated right now because I'm not working on the project anymore. Okay. But it's a great project. Right. You know, Dr. Dre is is the one who helped start my my casting agency, so I have nothing but love for Dre. Cool. So any project that they're doing, I always support. I just, you know, they decided to just go other routes in the casting aspect of it, but um, hey, it's going to be a great movie. Yeah. Yeah, man, yeah, I, I do do some work with Drake, good brother. Mm -hmm. Hey, you say, can you say anything about that Whitney a film you just finished up, man? Well, just finished wrapped the, wrapped the Whitney Houston film called The Whitney Houston Story, directed by Angela Bassett. Right, good um, girl. It's going to be a great job. Yaya, who was one of Miss America Top Models, mm -hmm. um, did a great job in it. Cool. Great job in the movie, so look out for that. You know, James Brown movie comes out tonight. Yeah, my advisor. Um, yep, right but uh, that when he used to movie going to be going to be off the hook because remember, uh, Angela Bassett did a great job in playing the role of of Tina Turner. Right. So she was able to translate that into a directorial debut with when he used it. Cool, cool, cool. What else is happening new with you, man? I mean, you always trying, got something going. Just what? trying to stay busy, man. Just wrapped an audition yesterday um, for a new television show pilot um, for possibly MTV, kind of like MTV Cribs. You cool. Um, called uh, Dinner for Three. Excellent. Um, so yesterday on that, I saw a um, uh, <laughs> couple of the top models. I've been dealing with top models lately. <laughs> I saw Eva oh, on yeah. the audition. Oh, I yeah. saw um, Takara yesterday. Oh, beautiful girl. And um, I also saw, what was the other top model? Um, uh, Tyra Banks? Uh, no, yeah, I wish it was <laughs> I wish it was Tyra. Um, Jade. Jade. Yeah, Jade. And she came by. Well, you so hang, with, audition. hang with the big girls, man. man. I try to stay busy. That's <laughs> well, what's up? Uh, like you know, we'd be talking to, we'd have a, uh, you know, the tell the uh, people in position and influential people trying to help the youngsters for one. Mm -hmm. What's uh, give me some positive view of your message to the youngsters nowadays? Well, that that's what my company is designed to do. My company is designed to do to help people that want to get into this business, and and, and kids are, are are just the same. You know, I remember when I was a child, I born and raised in Dayton, Ohio. Back then in Dayton, it, there was no inkling of of how to get into the entertainment business. You know, and so that's what I want to bring to people and kids across the country is how to do that. Because you don't have to move to Hollywood to do that. I mean, you, in every local city, there's some local castings going on. You, you just got to know how to be part of it. And so that's what I'm trying to do with the youth is, you know, they're, they've got this campaign going about bands. You know, get the, the, the uh, musical equipment back in schools. Get the theatrical back in schools. Get that, that part of it. That's what I want to try to do is that aspect of it. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good, man. Plus, you say your boy, he want, he got all that going for the community. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, what's going on? What you, you think? You said that James Brown movie was gonna be a monster, man. You know, he was a he's a part of history for us, bro. Oh yeah. James Brown, people don't know. I'm gonna do a little thing on on the web for him. You know, he did. He was my advisor in college. Mm -hmm. And this cat, he had the first black radio station, WDRDW. Okay. That was the first black radio station. Mm -hmm. And okay. he had own platinum card, first one black man restaurants. Yeah. James Brown did yeah. a lot of stuff for the community. You know, activists and all that. You know, Al Sharpton was his boy. Exactly. He's a special dude. And wish exactly. him a lot of luck. And I heard Bronson's doing a hell of a job. That acting cat, man. Mm hmm I did a hell of a job on that show. Yeah, he did. I seen the trailer and stuff on that. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing that movie. Who you think? Uh, who you think? Uh, we just look at two people. Who you think the top of? You know, your opinion. Who you think the 
top of the, the top of the top actress right now. Just your opinion as a casting director. They won't say nothing. Well, I'll, I'll take care of you. I, I, I appreciate that. <laughs> um, that's, that's just a hard question, man, because... Give me two. I, I love Kerry Washington. My baby. Okay, I love Kerry Washington, and I also love Denzel. You know Always. But he's, he's just a great actor. But, you know, there's a lot of, uh, of up-and-coming actors, you know, that's going on. The little cat that's on, um, on the show... Uh, I hit the floor, mm -hmm. um, and I forgot his name. He gonna kill me. But uh, uh, there's a lot of little little up and coming cats that are doing a lot of things. A good friend of mine, a guy named Darius Love. Cool. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so it's it's a lot of guys that you you have you don't know the names of, but you're starting to see the faces. You are. Yeah. And I'm telling you too. I be telling my people. You know, Gary, get us a better look out there, man. We need it, man. Mm -hmm. You know, James Brown pet peeve was fix your teeth and fix your hair if you're going to be on the stage showing your mouth and singing and all that, man. Mm -hmm. We need more of that. You know, I'm casting a wreck too since 92, man. I'm seeing that. Mm -hmm. We need more dental work, man. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I know you know people, a lot. Yeah. And they don't know if change going to change, baby brother. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. We're getting a break now because of the big brother OBB. You That's know what's right. happening. Yeah. Obama's helping us a lot right now. Oh, yeah. And, you know, American Voice tells the truth, fact, and fun. That's happening when he's gone, brother. You ain't gonna see a lot of them people with that bad dental work going. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> like you, you got some nice teeth. I'm beforehand. going back. I'll be putting money all month and going back. You know, next week you get some more work, man. Hey, man. You had that. Got to have that dental work done, hey, man. Yeah. And I can't believe it because I know some of the people I wouldn't cast them, man. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, well, it depends on <laughs> it, 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 the role might look for that. Yeah, but it's every role so, ain't looking for it. <laughs> you're true. You're right. You're right. Hey, how can the people contact you, man, if they want to do some work? Well, with my, my website is, is the, my company, Call Time Casting. So that's calltimecasting.com. Um, I'm on Instagram, Facebook, all of that under Call Time Casting. Um, so just hit me up. That's the easiest way to do it. Okay. You got anything new coming up? You want people maybe you send a message out to the people? Well, just look out for, for I, got, I got my own television show that we start filming next month. Cool. Called Call Time. Basically doing exactly what I do now. Cool. Which is the casting aspect. Excellent. So just look out for it. We'll make some things happen. We'll keep things moving. And that's something new too, man, because ain't nobody got that. You got, I know. You I should get them. You, I should have thought of that one. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, you know how it go, man. Yep. Now is, you do something different is yes, ordinary is no. Yep. You got to come now because that website done killed them, man. Got you know it. how to hit, hit us in the pocket with that, with that uh, shooting our, our videos. Mm -hmm. You know, people making videos now for $25 in the backyard. Exactly. Like it was 10 4 and Amber and I and Terrence, Terrence has, we did Michael Jackson. You know, they putting a million dollars in those things, millions yeah. of dollars. Yep. I mean, millions. They spend it's it's spending $5,000 on the video now. Oh, 25 in the backyard. Yeah. <laughs> Well, hey, man, it's been a monster. I know you got to run and get back at this on your set, man. Oh, how's Mr. Gray doing last time you seen him? Oh, yeah. The big director. Always doing good, man. Yeah, yeah Gary's always hustling, man. Because Gary, he was doing NWA last time I seen him. He's still working on it, always hustling, keeping things moving, man. Cool. Yep. Well, hey, I'm glad you came by, man. Like I say, you're a man of your word. I respect you and love you doing your I love it, man, because, you know, I'm from Texas, man. I tell the truth. People in L.A. ain't man of their word, man. You already know that. Well, yeah. You mean you know? I, 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 they promise you lies. I'll get back at you as a favorite no, word we, here. We call it promising you lies. Exactly. I promise, I, my 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 staff. Yep. We call it, they promise you lies, man. Yeah. Don't call you back. Don't ask you nothing. You know, unless they think you're a big baller. Yeah. I seen some bad stuff happen last week, but I can't talk about it. That's right. That's right. Let's yeah. keep it positive. Hey, that's us. Yep. We positive. Exactly. But it's about the truth, man. You can't tell the truth no more, though. Yeah. You know, you got a lot of time now, man. Cause you tell the truth. Oh, you a hater. Mm -hmm. That's the truth, though. You, you, okay. Anyway, back to you. Like I said, man, it's been a it's been a pleasure again, an honor to be in your midst. Good luck to all your success and stuff you're doing. And I've seen you do a lot of stuff recently, and I heard about you in the past. I appreciate. In fact, we it. probably crossed and heard about you each other in the past. Oh yeah, <laughs> you're a good we man. That's why I came down to holla at you. Hey, I love it, man. Yeah. I love it. We both got that good rep and taking care of people and ain't try trying to do people right. Most definitely. And keep that future futuristic thing going to young people. Yep. So, hey, I'm going to let you run. I know you got back to the set, man, and take care of your show. And, and uh, like I said, we love you, brother. And we're going to get back together again because we're going to help each other. Story X on the set live with Mr. Carrie Lee, one of the good brothers in casting. Uh, you'll enjoy talking to him. He's doing a lot of work, done a lot of work, has a good track record. I recommend the brother. So we want to thank the world once again. Story X 100% brown sugar here. And we want to also thank our sponsor, the Cake Exercise Club. That's a medical exercise for women and can help all women. Thank you. Bye. Make sure you check me out. We will, my brother. All right. We love you, man. That's Thanks right. for coming by. Most definitely. I'll see you next time on Story X. I'll be looking for you. There it is. We'll be looking for each other. I'll see you when I see you. Yep, yep. <laughs>